What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add rebar to columns in Revit. So how to add structural reinforcement to your concrete columns and basically how to reinforce your, your columns with some steel rebar. And I'm going to be showing you on two examples, a rectangular column as well as a circular column because it's a bit of a different method of, of adding reinforcement to these different kinds of columns. And uh, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media so you won't miss any of my future tutorials. Okay, but anyway, here I am in Revit and for this project I'm just going to be using the structural template as this is a structural project. So just wait for a second for it to start. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, I'm just going to be going to level 1 first, and now let's just go to the Structure tab immediately and go to Column. And if we start this Column uh, tool, you will see we've, kept, we've got some concrete rectangular columns, and we've got some steel columns, but I want to have a square column and a circular column. So, t we need to load those in. Uh, so, I'm just going to be going here to Load Family, and you can either use the Imperial uh, library if you want but I prefer using metric because that's what they use in my country so I'm just going to be scrolling down over here and find this structural column uh, menu so you find here let's go with concrete and let's use the round one and the square one so you just call the control to select both of them because or you can just do it like this and you hit open you wait for a second and now if we open up this drop menu you, you can see we've got these concrete round columns as well as some square ones over here so let's do the square ones first so let's use this one for example and here uh, just change from depth to height this is kind of a where you add all of the information about your column and for the height change from unconnected to level 2 okay so and let's just place a column kind of like this maybe turn this off to see it better. Okay, and let's choose now a circular column or a round column. Let's use this one and let's just place it like this. I know they usually wouldn't be this close together, but let's just see them for the purposes of this tutorial. But anyway, once we've got these columns and let's just change the scale to something like 1 to 50 or maybe even smaller yeah just to see them better and when you're adding rebar uh, you would want to use something like fine detail level just because uh, rebar doesn't show if if it's too coarse of a detail level so just make sure you're in fine when adding rebar anyway so first what we need to do is we need to set the rebar cover so this is what this command is for and what this means when you select it, as you can see now, this uh, green little line appeared here on the inside of this column, and here it's a circular green line. It's very thin, but I think you can see it. Anyway, what does this mean? This is called a rebar cover, and if I se select one of these columns, you can see here we can set up different kinds of rebar uh, or of rebar covers. And what does this basically mean? So this rebar cover, it's uh, the the offset between the point uh, of the outside of the column and uh, the kind of the final line where your reinforcement or your rebar can appear. So it's kind of a protection layer between kind of natural elements and your rebar. And the reason you need this, well, there are actually three reasons. Uh, you need it for corrosion protection because if the rebar was on the kind of on the on the periphery of this column it will get exposed to water and then it would corrode and it would uh, it would become weaker and it could collapse so that's one of them it's corrosion protection the second one is fire protection because in case of a fire you want to have kind of a little layer protecting this uh, column because fire can start to melt uh, rebar and then when it starts melting it loses its structural properties and then the whole building could collapse and the third reason uh, is, is to prevent slipping under stress so that's why we put it inside so the concrete can kinda grab it from all sides so it doesn't slip under heavy stresses but anyway so we've got that and we, when we select the uh, the column we can change kind of the the types and this uh, 
as you can see here it depends on where the column uh, is so if it's on the exterior you use some of these and if it's on the interior you use some of these and probably this won't correspond to your country's regulations so you can go and open up this three dots and it opens up a menu so you can kind of add more uh, more of these rebar cover settings so you better look into your country's kind of rules and regulations and set these up according to that but for this just uh, presentation I'm just going to keep it at uh, 40 millimeters and as you can see here you can either do it for the whole element or you can pick uh, you can pick individual sides so you can pick this side and then set it up for that uh, but anyway well, let's go for the for the whole thing and do the same same thing for this column over here as well place it at 40 and also one more thing if we select the layer uh, the column later on and go here into the menu you can see here we've got some some of those same uh, rebar cover settings so you can change change it here individually for the top face bottom face and other faces or uh, these uh, kind of side faces this is more for uh, those uh, structural beams but it works with columns as well okay so once we have uh, this rebar cover in place now it's finally time to place our rebar on the columns so to do that go to the rebar tool and you just hit OK and you get this menu over here now if for some reason you didn't get this menu let's say it's closed you can go here just click this three dots and it opens up this menu so you can kind of visually choose the rebar for your columns and first let's do the square column so what I'm going to do is scroll down over here find something like let's see like this this looks nice and now we zoom in to the to the actual column and you go here and let's set it to the nearest cover near reference and set it parallel to work plane and you can see it then go here to the far cover reference and now you can see it so I'm just going to be placing a, one of these and you just see on which side you want to place it let's place it like this and you just select out of that now I'm just going to be going to the 3D and as you can see it's all the way down here but now you can select this rebar and now you can add some settings so let's change the layout from single to a maybe maximum spacing and then let's change the spacing from 100 millimeters to 300 millimeters let's say there's too much of these and as you can see now it placed a rebar inside of this column but we need some rebar running lengthwise this is kinda uh, the rebar that's protecting it from kinda bursting at the seams but we need some uh, running lengthwise so for that let's go back into level 1 go rebar now scroll all the way up and find this uh, kinda long rebar and then you go over here and you change from parallel to work plane to perpendicular per perpendicular okay sorry for that uh, to, to rebar and now you can just start placing it here now you probably have some calculations that you already calculated of how many of these bars you need I'm just going to place kinda randomly these eight bars but anyway make sure you know how many you're placing and then later on you can come in and you can hold the control and maybe select all of these and then you can change their thickness so you just select them and you go over here and you can change them maybe to 16 and select this maybe make it smaller make it at 10 so you can basically change the uh, the size of your rebar later on but let's go to the circular column because it's a bit of a different way to add rebar so let me go here in rebar and if I scroll down over here you're going to find this spiral rebar I really like this shape it look it looks cool okay I'm an architect I only go for aesthetics I don't really understand in detail how this works but I get the basic principles but anyway let's say we want to use this spiral rebar we select it and now these tools changed and if I go to add it over here I can't and even if I change the bottom front back right left it doesn't work so there's a problem with this rebar in Revit and you can't add it just like a regular rebar what you need to do is you need to go here and change it to just a regular uh, the circular rebar and you come over here you make sure you're parallel to face and then you kinda place it just like that so you place the circular rebar and if you go into 3D it looks just like that just a basic circular rebar but now you can select it and you can go over here 
in the properties panel and here let's see okay shape and you open up this drop menu and the SP is that uh, spiral shape and when you select it and now you have your spiral rebar running uh, lengthwise or well again it's preventing the, it bursting at sides but you get the point so it's running like this and then you can select it and edit it so you can go over here scroll down and for the pitch let's change this to I don't know 300 as well Hit apply and as you can see this is what happens then you can select it and change it again from 13 millimeter to 10 millimeter perhaps and then you can go into level 1 and add some rebar running lengthwise so you can go rebar let's go back to that first one that we used let's do it at 16 millimeters uh, perpendicular to cover and let's just place one of one bar over here now you select that bar you go to array you select radial array and then you go here and for the number let's do eight for this move to last and let's place the center of rotation here in the middle of the column and now for the angle so you've got eight of these so what you need to do you want it to go 360 degrees around but you can't type in 360 degrees because it will place the first one and the last one at the same point so you just divide 360 by 8 and that's 45 and then you need to subtract that 45 from the whole 360 degree circle so you get to 315 that's 360 minus 45 so you type in 315 and there you go so it's starting from here all the way to here that's uh, 315 degrees and we've got eight bars running lengthwise and if we go into 3d this is what we get so we've got our uh, structurally reinforced rebar structurally reinforced columns over here okay i hope i have uh, shown you something new in revit in this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe and if you want to support me on patreon just the first link in the description for five dollars a month you will be able to get all of the project files i do in revit like perhaps this rebar columns and of course some more interesting projects i've got over 140 projects so far but anyway okay that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow